Hey, it's Time Out with Michael. Glad you guys are here with us tonight. It's been a minute. We've It's been like two weeks. Oh, yeah. Or it's three been, weeks. It's been We've, a couple weeks. It's been two weeks. But. <laughs> so, wow. hey, thanks for jumping on with us and sticking with us. We've just had life. Life, life has uh, interrupted the show, interrupted what we wanted to do. And it happens sometimes. It just does. And you got you to gotta roll with the punches. But, Absolutely. Uh, that's what we do. That's what we do. Uh, thanks for joining everybody. Carla and Kiko Adventures. Thanks for jumping on. Juan, thanks for jumping on. And whoever else is on. You Juan's talking on about there. movies. Juan is already talking it. about the movies. Because tonight is movie night. I love it. He said, um, number one movie, The Breakfast Club. I love that. It has so many great lines in it. So much meaning. Everybody relates to almost every character in that movie. So, yeah. I do like great. that. Oh, uh, so you don't want to watch a whole movie with us, Juan? I mean, that's what we were going to do. We were going to watch a whole movie together on the thing. Keep oh, you here well, for about an hour and a half. I guess that's out. Okay. Well, we'll just have to redo the show now. Okay. Uh, change of plans, I guess, I yeah. suppose. Uh, dang it. Midstream. Here we go. Okay. Well, uh, sure. Dang it. Juan, you've ruined our surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not music night, Juan. It's movie night. Okay. Stick on topic. Hey, Juan, how was Universal Studios? Speaking <clears throat> of movies, you were at Universal Studios on Sunday. How was it? I hope yeah, you had was, a great time. How was Universal Studios? We want to ask. We're kind of waiting for everybody to jump on. So um, we started a little bit earlier than we said. So. <laughs> what about what about if this is the director's cut of movie night of Time Out with Michael Wan? It's like seven hours. OK, Zack Schneider got away with it. What now, 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 what's his face? Uh, what? uh, Peter Jackson from uh, Lord of the Rings. He wants to now do his uncut version of Lord of the Rings. It's like 14 days long. Copa oh Mello, hey, thanks for joining. We appreciate you. That sounds brutal. <laughs> I, guitar you wow. know I love Lord of the Rings. I do. I dearly love it. But it's all I can do to make it through one of the movies one day. I know. I just I, binge I don't know watch that... him. It's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Cope and Mello, thanks for hopping on and saying hi. Juan says that Uni Hollywood was so much fun. I got on the Jurassic Park ride front row with Becky Boo and we got soaked. That's well, awesome. I think that sounds good, except I hate getting soaked. I hate it, hate it, hate it with a passion. Hey, Juan, uh, so. I, I heard there's a big surprise uh, for you. Have you, has anybody told you about the big hey, surprise? Hey, Kittle, thanks for joining. Anybody told you about the big surprise, Juan? I I know about the big surprise. There's a big surprise for you. Uh, one of your friends is going to give you a really cool surprise. I heard uh, it. it it's going to be a good surprise. I think I it's going to so. be a great surprise. We're going to be in Knott's Berry Farm June 26th, 27th. Wait, 25th? 25th, 26th, 26th and then we leave the 27th. It was kind of funny because uh, the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel called us and said, hey, uh, just so you know, out of staters can't go to the park. Um, and you guys are from out of state, so you, you can't go into the park. I'm like, we'll, we'll be all right. Cause, uh, June 15th, they're going to lift all the restrictions. And he was like, well, just so you know, uh, so w we have plan B in place, uh, in case we can't, uh, get into the park. It's, it's a good one. <laughs> We're smarter than the average bear. Well, we're going to do our best. We'll see what happens. Absolutely. And oh, if, we and can't, if we can't get in, then, you know, we'll go to the beach. We'll go to Italy, our favorite place, Italy. Works for me. Uh, Kid Alt says Universal. I do. I want to go. I want to go back to Universal um, and see some of the things that I haven't been able to. Uh, we went to Universal a couple of years ago and we had a really great we, time there. We had a fun time. The only yeah. problem is, is that we did a front of the line pass and no one really explained the front of the line pass to us. So we went to Jurassic park, the ride like early in the day is like, yeah, 10, it was pretty much a walk on. And it was like a walk on like 15, 20 minutes. And we're like, Oh, we're going to use front of the line. We're cool. We're awesome. And we went straight to the front of the line and you know what they did? They told that us that was we, it. You could only use it once. That was it. 
And I was like, really? We could have used this le like because later in the day it was like an hour wait to get on Jurassic Park. Yeah. And I was like so mad and hard lesson uh, learned. Yeah. Hey Juan, what is summer night of uh, summer fest? When will that be going on when we come down there? Do yes, you know? yeah, it will be. Oh, that's because be remember fun. when I booked the hotel room, it told me I could get a I could get the hundredth anniversary tote bag that we'll get. That's oh. what I signed us up for. Oh, okay. Or you could do the summer fest and you get like some food or a dinner or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so it should be fun. And then earlier in the comments, Juan said his big surprise is celebrating his 48th birthday this year. Nope. That's not the surprise, Juan. No, so Juan. you don't know about it. That's awesome. <laughs> and um, I do. I know about the surprise. Hey, Juan, uh, I have you beat by two years. So you turn 48 in June and I turn 50 in September. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'd be super excited for summer nights. I, I think it's just a kind of a food festival and they have uh, really good food. They, they switch it up and then they have uh, music, live bands and stuff like that. That'll if I so remember, that's kind of what they, they know these guys know. So something I'm really looking forward to about our trip to Knott's Berry Farm is we are bringing our son Riker with us. Um, and I'm so excited for him to experience Knott's Berry Farm. You know, Riker is, um, no kiddo. No, what? he's 48 and we're going to stick to that. That's how old he is. Uh, we no, 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 no. Juan is 48. He's an old dude. Okay. He's the old guy. I know he's not 48. <laughs> you know what? If that's, if that is how Juan wants to live his best life, I'm going to roll with it. He yeah. can be 48. Yeah. See, look, he just said, let, let me, me live, live my, my best, best life. life. I've got your back Juan. If you want to be old like me, well, let's go. And something that's really cool, too, is we have been to uh, California for the past six, seven years. Seven. Seven and years. And then two years before that is when we did our San Francisco, San Francisco trip. trip. So. And that was a lot of fun. So let me tell you, my son, his favorite part of the about the favorite part about the San Francisco trip was the cereal. Yep. But he was four. But still, I think it's I, it's a great memory for me, and that's what this is all about. And we have we have met some really awesome people uh, down in California, so we're excited to be able to go down there again and and just spend some time with them. Yeah. This is a first for us. We have never been to Knott's Berry Farm on the rides, so you know I, I wanted to I wanted to stream it. I wanted to. Uh, vlog it. And you I know, think, unfortunately, made... I just, I, I think, think I'm just going to end enjoy up taking your things. No. And I think no. that there will be parts of it that you will, because you'll just get all itchy about it. Nope. I'm going to leave that to Kittle if he's there. I'm going to leave that to Juan if he's there. Juan really doesn't do that. I'll leave that to Josh midlife. Uh, I'm going to leave it to all the other people to do the vlogs and stuff like that, which is going to be cool. I mean, I'll, I'll take a couple pictures and stuff. Uh, but I just really want to go down and enjoy myself and, and and soak it all in. And that's something that I'm really struggling with about this uh, Disney World trip uh, because it's going to be jam-packed and it is going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot to do. And there's, I mean, we have a lot of time. I just don't know how much, I mean, vlogging takes a lot and you it have does. to, you have to do that and. I just don't, I, I don't know how much I'm going to dedicate my time to vlogging down there because I want to enjoy all of that. I, well, I know. Kittle says he's calling you out. <laughs> I, I know I do. And I'll come, I, I bought a season pass Fernie, So I, I will be down there more than, you know, to Knott's Berry farm. And I have plenty of time to vlog and do all of that. Um, so you can count on that again. It's just or Orlando. I, I probably will vlog in Orlando, just not as much as I would uh, typically. And it, I think that's okay. I think it's okay to balance your time with doing a few. Why? Well, I think you could just dedicate your vlogging to doing a whole bunch of stuff to make some shorts. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I do. don't think that you need to vlog the whole trip. Yeah. But just do little bits here and there and then put it together for a few shorts. I think that'd be amazing. So. <laughs> Give Carrie the camera. She's got to enjoy. 
Well, you know, Kettle, here's the thing is I do have a camera that she's going to work um, on it that I can do some vlogging with. I just need to make the time and stop procrastinating. I just need to work with it and make the time. You like and my shorts? You like my shorts, Juan? <laughs> uh, my boy is cute. He, he does a good job. So, yeah. Shorts are fun. So we'll probably do more shorts than we will do big time vlogging again. Like Fernie said, there's a lot of people already <laughs> vlogging down there and that's not what my channel's about. Um, I do love putting that on there, but my channel is a little bit different. Um, so there's already a ton of people out there. I mean, if I dedicated my whole time to theme parks, you'd never see me. I'd be gone, which would be cool. One day, one yeah, day it'd be fun day. to do that. We'll get there. Absolutely. So let's, uh, let's uh, jump yeah, in. The let's, carry cam. let's, let's jump into That'll this, be good. um, movie night. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to just dive into this. We're going to talk about, I got a bunch of questions. I got a bunch of things to talk about. So engage, enjoy, uh, stay on topic one. For the most part, if Juan not, I'm like gonna a just move on. <laughs> he, he's not going to stay on. Okay, so if you could be a character from any movie, who would it be? Wow, that is a tough one. And what I want to know is, why didn't you give me these questions before now? So I could actually have time to think. It's not how this works. I, I don't know who I would be. I have so many favorites. Um, The first one that comes to my mind just automatically is if I could be any character in a movie, I would want to be Rey in Star Wars. Star Wars. Nice. She is so amazing. She's one of mine anyway. Who else would I be? Oh, I used to want to be Laura Croft in Tomb Raider. Yeah. 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 Kid Alt wants to be Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> hey, you do it. I would love to see your impression. Let's go. That's a good thing. Hey, I, I want to see that. Juan says... Stop it. What do you want to be, Juan? If you could be any character in a movie, what would you be? Hey, you had asked in the thing, you know, what is better? Like if there's um We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't well, you worry. Don't tell him to stop then. <laughs> Bernie loves Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I love that movie. I, I my grandma had a swimming pool. Do you remember when uh they were at what's his uh, Francis's house and he was hmm. <laughs> he was playing with the boats. Oh yeah, I had I had this I, I I did the whole scene in my grandma's pool. It was awesome. I have never watched any of Juan the Juan wants movies. to be Miguel and Coco. Okay, fair enough. I mean Really Juan, you really want to be that? You were going to leave it to that. I uh, this one's an I easy one. Fernie's just This one's easy messing. for me. I I would love to be Captain Jack Sparrow. I oh, think that would okay. be so fun. I want to be a pirate. I've wanted to be a pirate. It's a big thing for me. Uh, Goonies was a huge thing for me. I loved all that, you know, the pirate and all that stuff. And then they came out with Pirates of the Caribbean. It's my most favorite ride at the park. Um, I love pirates. It's it's awesome. And, and, and he gets to drink rum. All, all the time. Yes, he does. Uh, oh, that's, hey. That's Midlife good. is in the house. Midlife. Oh, hey, my hey, goodness. Hey. Holy cow. Yes, we're back. <laughs> Spearmint or fruit? <laughs> yes, I am back. Uh, so, Josh, uh, Midlife, uh, we asked, if you could be any character from any movie, what? who would you be? Who would it be? Yes, I, I, I mean, yeah, Captain Jack. I, mm, yeah, oh, okay. I, I love it. I love it. That's that's what I would be. Fernie says fruit, please. Okay, I'm waiting on Carla. Carla, what uh, what character would you be? And if anybody else is on the stream, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, thanks for joining. Uh, we're talking movie stuff today, and we're throwing up uh, questions that just pertain to movies and we're going to throw some other movie questions out there. Carla says you, IDK. You know, you know, you know Carla. that's a tough one. It's hard to pick just one. If person. I could be any character from a movie, it would be Regina George. Did you hear John Stamos saw her in a plane and said, Regina George was pretty. I lost. I got lost. I am lost. Who's if Regina could, George? Who is Regina George? What movie is that from, Juan? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> blood in, blood out. 
Midlife says Jeff Bezos. He's not in a movie. What? Jeff Bezos is not in a movie. You can't be Jeff Bezos. Who's Jeff Try Bezos? Again. Really? Josh, please let her know who Jeff Bezos is. I He's one of the richest men in the world. Men in the world. Amazon. Okay. Well. Okay. You need to start he, reading the news. I thought you watched the news. I just listen to it so I can listen to the weather and then rant about the other crap they talk about. I got an educator. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, stay, stay on, on topic. topic, Josh. Are you hanging out with Juan, Josh? I think so. Anyway, um, so Carla, yeah, Amazonian. is an Amazonian. <laughs> well, well, I get it now. There you go. So uh, midlife would want to be an Amazonian <laughs> for Wonder Woman. That's cool. Yep. I, I get it. Forrest Gump. Ooh, nice. I might not be a smart man, Michael. <laughs> but I know what love is. That's great. Uh, okay, so we pretty much got answers from everybody. Um, it's, it's <laughs> I can see Josh's Forrest Gump. Tina Fey's 2004 cult hit movie Mean Girls. Uh, oh, okay. oh. All right. Okay, yeah. I I remember that now. Because <laughs> I love chocolate. Mm. Carla would want to be Goofy from the Goofy movie. Well, yeah, I could see that. Oh, I like it. I like it. Letty from Fast and the Furious. Okay. Is Letty that right? From Fast and the Furious. Yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. That's pretty badass. I like me some Letty. Okay. Mm. Well, um, I've actually never watched one of those movies all the way through. So I don't know. <laughs> that's a good one. I, I, I can see that, Bernie. <laughs> I like that. That's Bernie, good. That's funny. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Everybody pick their character, who they would want to be. Uh, and it is a hard one. You you have a lot of favorite characters. You want to see all those things. Um, you want to be those characters, and it's it's Freddy always Freddy Krueger. Oh Lord! Stop at one. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be a okay. Question two: thing. What would you wear to a red carpet event? I don't know. I would wear my zoot suit. I love my zoot suit. I think they're so cool. I need to get in a better shape for a suit, and I'm working on that. I started a workout. Uh, today. Carla says yoga pants. <laughs> yoga I, I am pants, right perfect. with you. Veronica, hey, thanks for joining. She says Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, or, yes, Letty. Nobody noted. Oh, from Fast and the Furious. Yep. Um, you know, I love to watch people on the red carpet. Midlife says shorts and a t-shirt. I yeah, got I'm it. down for that too. I am not a dress up kind of person. I don't, I am not comfortable in dresses. I am not comfortable in heels. Um, yeah, if I could wear some jeans and a t-shirt and my chucks, I'd be super happy. I have to wear pants all winter, and I hate pants. You wear shorts all winter, too. I know I do. There's like maybe one month out of the year that you will actually wear long pants. I hate pants. I do. The only time I like pants is uh, if I'm wearing a suit. It's cool. I like those shorts for sure. Uh, so Carla said yoga pants. Josh said t-shirt and uh, shorts and maybe jeans. You said what? I said a zoot suit. Veronica, what are you going to wear know. to the uh, red carpet event? I would love to say that I would dress up and wear something fancy and pretty, but yeah, I don't know. I think that uh, your black yoga pants, your black pants, your uh, free bird boots, My the crew cruises. Boots. Yeah. Yep. I like those. And then that, uh, yeah, shirt. I think that's good. I always wear pants. I have dinky little calves. Ooh, you should see my calves, Juan. I work out. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> Moving right along. Moving right along. Oh, hey, Veronica says leggings, T-shirts, and flip-flops. Hey, that's a good one. Yes. I would wear a shirt with a pic of someone doing interviews. Ooh, I like that. That's good. That that's is a good great. one. That's great. That's awesome. I, would, I like that. I like, I like that, that, too. 
All right. So what is uh, let's let's uh, Andrea said I'm Mary from Hocus Pocus. Mm, they're going Hocus Pocus too. That should be interesting. I'm super excited for that. Um, okay. So moving on to the next question, we're and we're gonna like I said this is gonna we're gonna go through fast, quick, and fire off some things and try to stay on topic. Josh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get everybody to stay on topic. All right. So what is the last movie you have seen? I don't remember. What did we watch last? Oh, what did we watch last night? Um, um, give me a second. Oh, we watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Correct. Yep. We actually watched the new one, Charlie and Choc Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Not to be confused with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The one with Johnny Depp. The one Tim with Burton. Johnny Depp. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> 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 That's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Hello. Army of the Dead. Oh, I wanted to see that. Was it good, Josh? That's that new one with Dave Batista in it, right? I saw 10 Things I Hate About You. Hey, real quick, uh, fun fact, Carla. Uh, the movie 10 Things I Hate About You was filmed in Washington, Seattle to be exact at a high school that one of my friends went to. I went up there to visit them with my mother and they specifically built and added on a new stadium and soccer field uh, slash football field and turf for that movie because they allowed them to use that high school when I went and ran up and down the stairs that Heath Ledger did just like he did. Really cool. Okay, squirrel moment over. On Netflix last night, he said. Uh, Juan says the last movie I watched was Mortal Kombat, the new one. But the main guy was the worst dude. He was so pouty and took screen time away from Scorpion. It was definitely a good movie in my mind. I liked the different. I'm glad they didn't really remake the old one, which because the old one was good too. Not gonna lie, they could have done some better things, but that was back then. Uh, but th they've opened it up for some more, so that's awesome. Veronica says pitch black. Oh, and that Vin Diesel. Ooh. Uh huh. I've never actually watched those movies all the way through either. Pitch black and the Chronicles of Riddick. You've watched them uh, many times. Oh yeah. And yeah. I always start watching them, and then I end up falling. Asleep. Uh, you know, and I'm super sad too. Like when people when they do movies and they have like the chant, like the Chronicles of Riddick has like five or six movies that they could go off of and then they just yeah. stop and i think that vin diesel really got caught up in fast and the furious so it was one of those things he couldn't continue with um so it's okay i like those two movies good one good one hey kelly thanks for hopping mom on how are hello. you good to see you thanks for watching copa Mello says they're watching the last kingdom on netflix is that what you No, you're doing what are you doing? What did what you call it? Tracy, make you watch Outlander. Outlander, but that's okay. not a movie. It's a series, right? But the, I think uh, is the Last Kingdom a series or is it a movie? I felt like it was a series. Maybe not. RoboCop director's cut is so violent. I love RoboCop. Yeah. <laughs> what? Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Well, I think I've seen most of RoboCop. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Uh, Verhoeven directed. I'm waiting <laughs> to see if Cohen Mello says if that's a series or just a movie. Uh, yep, we're working on it. Uh, I know, Midlife there's said, a lack. That's a good I one. get it. Yep, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we all saw the last movies. We saw what we were doing. Um, all right, so the next question is, and we'll we'll find out what Copa Mello says too. Do you like movie musicals? If I so, do. what's I your do. favorite one? I mean, everybody knows my favorite. Well, maybe not everybody. Series, yeah. The so last it is Kingdom a series. Was with Orlando Bloom, I think. Yep. Oh, series. It but is we a love series. Outlander. Yeah. I could talk about Outlander for hours. I will just side note here, really quick. Uh, Cope and Mello, I have been listening to the Outlander books on um, Audible. I am. Um, I just finished book three, so now I have to start on book four. They are so addicting. So what was our next question? Oh, musical, yes. All right, so Juan says, Highlander with music by Queen. 
Carla and Kiko says Mary Poppins. So I have um, my favorite, favorite musical. It will always be The Sound of Music. Okay. Uh, there are several that I like, um, but that is just my all-time favorite. Downton Abbey. That's not a musical. That, though. that oh, is yeah, it wait, a musical? No, I believe actually it, uh, Downton Abbey was a musical first. Or maybe since we were just talking about movies. Oh, gotcha. So. Okay. Yes, The Sound of Music is a classic. I just, I love it. Les Miserables by that Midlife. Is, that is very good too. And Copa Mello said that they are hooked on uh, all of that and they just bought the Outlander series on DVD. It is so addicting. So addicting. <laughs> no, it is not, get old. Uh, although it is funny. I do like that one. <laughs> Uh, I had a very good friend, uh, who is no longer with us and it's sad to say, uh, I'm sad. Uh, no, you're okay, Veronica. Um, the very first, I mean, I guess real fun musical that he introduced me to was Rent. Um, I've never seen it. It's uh, it's a lot oh, of fun. Oh yes, Carla and Kiko, the greatest showman. Okay, that's yeah. that is a good that is a good one, hands down. But I do uh, Rent. Rent is my most favorite musical um, and musical movie. I really like it. the The actual musical on Broadway compared to the movie is a lot different, um, but uh, still one of my favorites. And it, and it's kind of again, it's just near and dear to my heart because of Chris. Oh um, yeah. So it all it'll always be that. And I got a lot of other ones, but that one will. That one will always be there. Bohemian Rhapsody, very good one. Yep, we really enjoyed that one. That was that was great. I think yeah. they did a good job on that with Mister Freddie Mercury. What was that? What is his name? Malik. Oh, yeah, I can't remember his I, name. He I, does, I he's a great him. actor. Great actor. I like I like good acting. It's hard to look at him now in any other role and see him as anything. Kelly good. says Phantom of the Opera. Rocky is not a musical. Knock it off. Stay on point, Josh. I really you like Phantom and of the Opera. Rami so Malik. Yeah, thank you, Juan. I love Rami. He's awesome. Very good. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you a couple pet peeves of mine um, when watching movies. And it is very, uh, Carrie can attest to it. Mm -hmm. When you go to the movie theater, you're there. There's a bunch of people. And since the introduction of cell phones, people are always on them. They're talking, they're doing things, um, playing games and stuff. And during the movie, they go off. And what does Michael do when somebody's phone goes off in the movie? During you the movie, freak out. I freak out. I stand up and tell them what I think, and it it makes me very frustrated. This if is you why can, Michael goes to the movies by oh, himself. If you can not of the go to a movie and put your GD phone away for two hours, then don't go. There's no reason. I don't care. If you have an important phone call, if you're on call or you're worried about your kids or something like that, step out of the, th put your phone on vibrate on mute and everything. Step out of the theater and take the call. Do not answer it mid mid movie the other thing everybody's got these fancy watches turn those off too i am that guy i hate it i i, I it it just drives me bonkers that you can't sit in a movie and not turn your cell phone off you're there to enjoy enjoy the movie uh, no, I'm not a violent drunk. I am the life of the Except party. Except when he drinks tequila. No tequila. Yeah, don't let me drink I'm any gonna tequila. I'm going to hide over here until you calm down. <laughs> Stop talking. Don't I'm sit going by going in me. the hood. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't really I don't really mind the, the, the chit-chatter. Sometimes people have questions and stuff like that. But I can tell you right now that I absolutely despise people that bring their phones into... Uh, <sighs> into a theater it just pisses me off more than anything show some respect it's just you know and i am that guy i will be that guy every time it's it's bad so anyway moving on <laughs> okay to that now um, that you've got to rant now that i got to rant about the movies go on to our next again question. these these guys have put 
a lot of, you know, just people are there to enjoy the movie. Yeah, people who bring babies to the theater. You know, if it's a kid flick, I don't mind so much if there's littles or babies or whatever. But... You have to understand that if you go to a kid movie, there's probably going to be a crying baby there because the family's going. I think that's, again, oh, that's something I'm, yeah. I'm okay Copen Mello says when someone sits behind you in the theater and they kick your chair. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're there and they, they put their feet on the back of your chair and they, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Sit still. So with that being said, when you guys go to the movie, and uh, I, I guess a lot of people that are on the stream now, uh, and then if you watch this afterwards, uh, you know, you can think about this. Um, we've had our movie theater open um, since... COVID. I mean, I, well, I should say, shouldn't say that for about three or four months, they had drive-in movie stuff. Yeah. So they still try to continue to fun. do movies, which was really fun. It was awesome. We have an um, awesome theater here and we've just really tried to support them. They've done a great job and we appreciate them. Aspen cinemas, go check them out. If you haven't, they're awesome. They're great people. And they've actually sponsored the show a couple times, which was really cool. Yep. Uh, been, been they're great, great people. people really helped us out on the show. Um, but, uh, Oh, Hey, thanks Carla for when, mentioning that. When you guys go like to Thumbs up. the theater, do you show up to the movies on time to watch the trailers or do you prefer to roll up late? Uh, to me, I I'm okay. I watch trailers on movie trailers all the time. So I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really worried about that. I don't, it's okay. I, I it doesn't, I, I watch movie trailers every day. So I've already seen them. So I'm, I'm okay. So what do you, uh, so what do you guys do? Do you guys, uh, come early to check out the trailers or do you roll up late now for a while? I don't know how your guys, how anybody else's theaters work. Uh, but since, um, I don't know, it's been about 15 years. They do ads before the trailers and we did an ad. It was really cool for Time Out with Michael and Tony, our, our previous, uh, thing. It was awesome. And everybody in town got to see it. It is a lot of fun. It was we a might good one. we might have to do another one and, and throw it up in the theater. I'd love to do that. So that, that was that fun. was really cool. Carla says we like to go early depending on the movie to get the middle seats. Well, this was way before Rona. Now everything is assigned seating. Yes, we it had is. Assigned seating like about a year before um, Rona. So which was really nice. You could go in and pick your seats and pay for them ahead of time. Isn't that so annoying, Josh? You that. you finish your popcorn or whatever you have before the movie even starts and you're like, now what? And you don't want to go miss the movie and go get more. <sighs> that is a rough, that that's tough. The struggle is very real there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Juan likes to get there two hours and 45 minutes early because he needs to play some arcade, the house of the dead by the cat by Capcom games. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Our yeah. movie theater doesn't have uh arcade games. They so. used to have arcade games way back in the day and that's just oh, not yeah, something like that they have anymore. 30 years ago. <laughs> and then they ran it into the ground and, but it's so funny yeah. too. If we were to take, if when we take our boys to uh, theaters outside of our town, and most of them, I would say a good majority of them do have arcades in them. Yeah, it's like, oh, we do don't that. forget the movie. We're going to go play games. And then their $5 is up in like 30 seconds. They're like, well, can we have more money? It's like, no, <laughs> sorry. Right. I think we're kind of middle of the row. Again, we, we try to show up before the movie starts, obviously. Um, but we... Uh, it's not one of those things that we, I, if, if we rolled up late and I was, it was going to, through the trailers, I wouldn't be so upset. If it was through the movie, I would be. Yeah. Veronica says they need a popcorn refill person. That's Always not a early bad popcorn, idea. hot butter, and Dr. Pepper. They need a popcorn refill person. Hey, I just put uh, Dr. Pepper cream soda out there. That's really good stuff. I think I really like that. I think I might have to start <laughs> filling up a jug. Now, here's a cool thing. So our theater... um. They provide buckets um, for popcorn and they provide a big fun, depending on what movie, like when Avengers Endgame came out, they did a, a fun glass that you could get. And you could, you can, instead of paying five, six dollars every time for your drink, you could just pay two or three dollars for to refill that one. But you had to buy the cup and it was like 10 bucks. 
and the the popcorn bucket was like 10 bucks as well. And then you could right. get that refilled as well. So that was really cool. I came up with a concept and I still want to do it. I still think it's amazing. How many people also take blankets to the theater? We, we, you know, Carrie yeah. takes it. Riker takes one. I, I'm always hot. So I hate taking the blanket, but I thought it'd be awesome if you had a locker there and you could like leave your pop. How many times do you leave the popcorn bucket and cup there? Maybe that's a, that's a mark marketing ploy. So oh, you got to no. buy another one. Did you see one is like, don't say the popcorn bucket word. It's a trigger oh, for free <laughs> popcorn bucket, popcorn bucket. I know. Right. Um, but no, I thought like you could put a locker there and put your popcorn bucket and your idea. drink drink thing there and your your blanket and then every time you came to the theater you just walk over to your locker and you get your stuff out and boom done yeah i think that's a great idea i just have to find the lockers i think and then maybe dave and emily would be okay <laughs> yeah i you know i i think they do need to have somebody that like walks around you know like at a ball game no because then i'd be pissed off at the movie <laughs> ice <Yeah>. cold beer <laughs> hot popcorn hot popcorn Oh, uh, yes, yeah. Fernie. We love we love the drive through. We were really blessed that you our theater did a Not or a drive in. Sorry, drive in. We were really blessed that our theater did a drive in during COVID. It was really cool. It was and way fun. We got to do it. And that was in the middle of the winter. So we didn't really get to hang out in the back of our trucks. But yeah, it was it was awesome. They would have 10,000 lockers. They would. That's a lot of money for me. I mean, I have side business. Dollar dollar a month to rent a locker. Kittle says churros, and I 10, our um our theater actually does sell those. They do do churros. I've never yep. had one. Pizza, ice cream. Yeah. Uh, how many people here have ever fallen asleep in a movie? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Ooh, hey, howling hour. howling hour. How are you? Yeah, Thanks for I, joining. I am notorious for falling asleep in movies. I fell asleep at home, especially. Yeah, I fell asleep in a, a couple movies, a couple big movies. Uh, Lord of the Rings, the last one, yeah. The Return of the King. I went with my mom and my brother, and I fell asleep in that. I went with your brother to see one of the Harry Potter movies, and I ended up falling asleep in it, and I was yeah. so embarrassed. But it was so dark, and um, I was so tired. I couldn't help it. It's like yeah instant yeah. oh, it, was <laughs> it was bad. it was bad i was so embarrassed hey let's step aside tonight to uh thank our sponsor copa Mello, for sponsoring our show it's it's just really amazing that they stepped up and helped us uh provide for this show and we just want to thank them so much for sponsoring the show tonight copa Mello has cigar box guitars check them out on instagram they're etsy absolutely beautiful they're so awesome here's one of these uh the last cowboy it the guitars are amazing they are not some cheap really crappy guitar they are hand built they are amazing and guess what we are 86 subscribers uh currently so that means we need 14 more and no you can't go do triple things, but hey, when we get to 100 subscribers, we're gonna take all of our subscribers, everyone in this whole thing, except for Copa Mello. <laughs> Sorry, you can't win your guitar back. Well, maybe, maybe they could. Maybe they could. They you know could. what? If they want to be in there, we'll 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 throw them in there. But hey, when we get to 100 subscribers, we're gonna give away a awesome Star Wars cigar box guitar. Okay, here's the thing: we got the we got the package, Copa Mello. We got the package. But we have not opened it yet. We we will wait until. I've been begging him to do an <laughs> unboxing. No, I, video. I I can't. I wanna I wanna unbox I wanna see it. it so bad. I wanna unbox it, and there's there's just that magic to unbox it when we're ready to go. It's just sitting there on our dining room table, calling, beckoning. Open it. Open it. <laughs> open it. What did you call, Carla? What did you call? I. I, it, it like it. Yeah, it should be mine. The review block unboxings. Yep. I want to know what Carla called. I think I know, but what the I, I, Carla, she said, I called it, Josh. Oh, oh, she called it. Okay. I oh, thought something else. Yeah, she's yeah. going to win the guitar. 
But I'm super happy and I'm, I'm excited super excited to see who does win. Uh -uh. And then I'd like to see them come and get it. Yeah, you have to come to Wyoming to get it. We forgot to say that once you win the guitar, you have to come. To it's, our house we got to get personally it. give it to you. Yeah. Oh, so that means if it, it can't suck come either. Yeah, we 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 will we we're great hosts. Yeah, fabulous. I'm pretty good on the Traeger. I I have access to lots of drinks. <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Road trip. Heck yeah. <laughs> Done. I'm there. Yeah. Fernie, if you can't make it up here uh, and you win it, I'll bring it down to you. Okay. I'll bring it down. No, so and Juan wants to go Sasquatching. <laughs> oh, Juan, there's been uh, multiple Sasquatch sightings in the Uentas, and it's about 45 minutes away from us. They're they're going nuts. There's a lot of Sasquatch people up there right now. It's it's stupid, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, did you see what Copa Mello says? We can't wait to see who wins. You should open it. We enclosed an extra vintage Star Wars item for you guys. Oh, I, I know you. I know you did oh. say that, and I'm. I'm. I know. I'm. I'm super. I want to open it. I. I can't. I. I have to wait till we get maybe, to it. Maybe. Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to learn how to use the camera at the carry cam. Oh, the and carry cam. Yeah. Do my own unboxing. Oh yeah, so. Kittle. We have lots of Sasquatch. It's. It's a hot spot up in the Uintas where we're from. Big time. Big time. Awesome. So, hey, again, thank you so much for sponsoring Copamelo. Oh, I have the hiccups, kind of. Yep. Go check out their Instagram page. Check out their Etsy page. Get a guitar. They're awesome. They're, you know, if you don't play the guitar, I'm telling you, a talking piece, a wall piece, something in your house, <laughs> it, it's awesome. That's a great idea, Fernie. I love it. CCTV. <laughs> open it when he goes to work. Hey, tomorrow I actually have a lighter day at work. So there's a chance I could sneak home and do that while he's working. That's a good idea. You'll be booking a hotel this weekend. Hmm. Really? Yeah, you will. That doesn't break my heart one bit. Wow. Moving on. Moving Doesn't on. Break my heart. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. You can have the bed with the kid <laughs> oh, and the yeah, dogs. And the dogs. Yeah. I would be happy to have a big bed all to myself. <laughs> you see, Copa Mello says, Carrie just open it up and then tape it back. He'll never know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Vacation time, Carrie. I know. Heck she wouldn't yes. be she wouldn't be sad to go hang out at a hotel. Nope. I sure wouldn't. I'd take my bath bomb that Becky gave me. That we I still need to use that. Used. I know, Becky. We've wanted to use it. I promise you. Uh, I'm saving it for when I can find a good a soaking nice tub. good soaking tub. I'm jumping in there too. Yeah. So if you could watch any movie tonight, what would it be, and who would you want to watch it with? Yeah. Say it again. If you could watch any movie tonight, what would it be, and who would you want to watch it with? I'm so tired. I can't even think about watching a movie tonight. Uh, somebody else answered. Don't ask me. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. We're moving on. Moving on. Oh, yeah. If a film the crew. Proposal with Kiko. Oh, yeah. Who's in that? John Wick with Keanu. Oh, that would be sweet. I think I, I okay. Let's Hallie go back Yeller, to this. I'm down for that. Uh, the Goonies. I I would. I think if I was to wa if I could pick a movie to watch tonight and to uh, watch it with somebody. I like your. I like the way Howling Hour went with that. I think that I. I okay, now that Carla put it up there, I would pick the Goonies, and I'd want to watch it with Sean Austin. Yeah, I, I think fun. I think that would be awesome. Uh, Kid Alt says me and D would watch Biodome. Oh, I love it. I've actually never watched that. Chew loose the pillow. Chew loose the blanket. I have no idea what you're talking Chew about. Chew loose for fun. Fernie's going to know. The Breakfast Club with Using Carrie and Midlife and, and Kaka Adventures. I love The Breakfast Club. That's one of my all time favorite movies in the whole wide world. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Hoosiers by myself. <laughs> The only thing I want to be watching tonight is the inside of my eyelids. I'm yeah. tired. It was a big day. It was a big day. 
I'm gearing up for my busy time. So this week is uh, laugh out, Michael. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yep. He knew what I was talking about. Hey, Veronica, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with us for a while. It was so great. We always appreciate you and your fun comments. Yes. Thank you so much, Veronica. Have a great night. Um, okay, so we got it. We we watched the movies. We knew who we were watching them with. Moving on. If you had a movie crew that wanted to film in your house, would you let them? Oh, hell yes. I, I think hope be they would capture the ghost. I know, right? I think it'd be awesome. I would do it. I would let them. Yep, I think so. I sure would. What about you guys? You guys would let uh, somebody film in your house? Thank you so much, Carla. Appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up. I'm going to go watch Weird Science. Ooh, yeah. Mm. I don't think. Well, I think I've seen it, but it's been so many years ago that I don't even really remember it. Hope they'd leave some stuff behind. <laughs> I know, right? They would leave some good stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is not on topic, but Juan's already talked about it, and we're going to let him come back to it. What is the best sequel to a movie? Best sequel of all time on a movie. There's so many. I can't name just one. Really? Really. Okay. Name a couple. You name some. Well, you said there were so many sequels. Well, there's movies that have sequels. That are just amazing. Well, I'm talking about the best sequel of all time. So Juan has Juan has nailed it. I think. <clears throat> oh, oh, Howling Hour! You kind of you kind of stole my thunder on that one. That's good though. T two Terminator to Judgment Day. I, I can say that is an amazing movie. Yeah, T two. Uh, Howling Aller says The Godfather 2. That that also is I've never even seen money. The Godfather 1. <gasps> or The Godfather 2. We've talked about this before. Well, we're we're going to have to take a weekend and watch The Godfather and And the I Godfather agree 2 with, and, with Carla. Oh, the Pirates movies, they're all amazing. I love every single one. And I love all of the Lord of the Rings movies. And I love all of the Star Wars movies. Some of those are sequels. Some of those are prequels on Star Wars. Yeah. They're all good to me. The Bible goes west. Good night, Mom. Have a great night. Thanks for joining. Bye, Kelly. And Carla says Fast and Furious, of course. Um, I think that Fast and the Furious sequel was crappy. I did not like it. Too Fast, Too Furious. I was not happy with it. Not happy with it. I don't know why. It was okay. It was all right. Um, the the Tokyo Drift was even worse. Uh, Halloween was a great, uh, had a great sequel on Halloween 2. Um but Halloween 3, I believe it was, it was the Season of the Witch. I would say that Season of the Witch on Halloween I've never 3 seen any of with the Halloween Michael Myers movies. was absolutely the worst, hands down, sequel I've ever... It had nothing to do with Michael Myers, nothing to do with Halloween. There was a part where they went into a restaurant or slash bar and they had Michael Myers up on the TV. That was the only time he was a part of that whole movie. It was horrible, horrible. Hmm. Kid Alt says Little Bow Wow, uh, the sequel. What I don't know. That? I have no idea what that is. The Howling Hour, Empire Strikes Back, best sequel ever. I, 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 it, it's right. Yeah, it's. You can't go wrong with a Star Wars movie, and, and I hate to be... I, okay, I'm not, let me throw this out there. The Matrix movies? I wasn't happy with the second one. I loved what? the third one. I loved them all. I really loved all of them. I, I think it was... I, I liked it. What about the it. John Wick movies? I liked it. Those are I all good. I, I, I liked the John Wick. Uh, they're, they're all good. 
Um, little Bow Wow was in Fast and the Furious. Yes, and he was. And then we could talk about um, the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games was good. Those are good. Yeah. Which is your favorite Back to the Future movie? The Ooh. original for sure. Yeah. One and three. I didn't really like Back to the Future 2 that much. I thought some of it, they were kind of, uh, I thought, I don't know. The second one wasn't my favorite. I, I, I think the first one is my favorite. I love that part at the end of the movie. And I always, <laughs> anytime someone's driving like an idiot, <laughs> crazy drunk driver. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts in the movie. Yeah, that is by far. Such and a it's really movie. cool, too, because Back to the Future uh, has uh, the power of love. And that was that one was of Riker's, Riker's favorite, favorite song for a long time. And then time. he loved the DeLorean. That was so good. Yeah, the DeLorean was was awesome. Uh, so Fernie loves part two. Um, he loves all of them. His, he says far, part two. Um, the future scene is is way cool. It's really cool when they got to that future scene and we were we were there in the future scene and so many things were so close like uh like the Cubs winning and all these things kind of were coming to fruition it was really cool. Uh Howling Hour says okay oh okay okay so season of the witch wasn't supposed to be part of the Halloween world but the movie wasn't going to be made unless they threw the Halloween name on it. Or Sears wouldn't greenlight it. No, I, 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 yeah, I, I, there's a lot of research into that howling hour. Um, it was one of those, like you said, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna do it. Um, but it just was like, it's mind boggling when you watch movies and you go to pick, like, if somebody didn't know anything about that, they're gonna go grab Halloween, Halloween two, Halloween three, Halloween four, Halloween, you know, they're gonna grab all that. And it's so crazy because Halloween two, Halloween four leaves off where Halloween two left off and from the hospital. Uh, you've never seen it, but they, they know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, see, there you go. All right. The, uh, the howling hour says toy story one, two, and three favorite trilogy ever. Okay. That's now pretty good. Four. Now there's four. Now yeah. I don't know what they call four. Um, Carla says in the West one, did you notice the kid tell the camera to come here and point to his junk? Nope. I've never noticed that. Now I'm going to have to see if I notice it. Hmm. All right. He says, you, and then Juan says, you know, Toy Story 2 is the best sequel. It has Bullseye and Stinky Pete and Jesse. Sarah McLaughlin saying, yeah, we don't like Sarah McLaughlin. She sings about all those sad pets in the arms <laughs> of an angel. <laughs> no, just funny. Uh, Carrie looks like D when me and Juan talk about movies. They're just that are not Disney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, do I have that far off look in my eyes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm fading fast. So, okay, here's a good one. As we're talking kind of about scary movies and things like that, what scene from a movie scared you as a kid that is totally not scary now? What? Oh, hey. So the Howling Hour says no. Nope, no four. That's called Woody's Adventure. Is it really? Did I totally miss that? Yeah. It's not Toy Story 4? Mm -mm. Oh, my bad. So so uh, uh, it's pumpkin time for Carrie. Oh, man. It Getting sure close. is. When you get up early at five in the morning, it's... Yeah, we had a really big day at work today. I'm... Okay, so back to it. Out. What scene okay. from a movie scared you as a kid that he made that up <laughs> he got you he did i was like freaking out thinking i totally missed something. okay so what scared kid old when mufasa was trampled by the wild beast and lion king so that scared you as a kid and now you're okay juan says et when elliot was putting up the reese's pieces outside to lure the damn alien i was so scared oh I love, I'm telling you, I've been to Orlando about four or five times and I love, love the ET ride. And they've revamped a couple things. I, I love the Back to the Future ride. They don't have that anymore. Dang it. And they don't have Jaws anymore. Dang it. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, th those were some cool things off topic. Okay. So that's where they are. Uh, here is a Disney topic for you. Best princesses for me, Aurora. Okay. We'll get there. Ho hold on, Howling Hour. Let's get to this. Let's finish this. Uh, this question, which scene from a movie scared you as a kid, but totally not scary now? 
I don't even know how to answer that. I don't. So there was a movie called uh, The Gate, and it um, had mm. I can't think of who was the the uh, Juan. Help me out because you're going to be it. quick. Um, in in the movie Blade with Wesley Snipes, he was the bad guy. What is his name in real life? I can't remember what his name is. Uh, anyway, he was in the movie, this movie called The Gate, and they did this satanic ritual down in the basement and opened up this gate in the backyard, and all these creepy, crawly things came out, and this big, giant looking ugly thing came out and it scared me half to death. And now I watch it. I'm thinking, why, why was this so scary? Like this can't be scary. Oh, I don't know. I can't think of specifically like a movie that scared me when I was a kid. I can think of a movie that scared me when I was a kid that still terrifies me today. Flowers in the attic. No, I read the books. I never saw, I've never seen the movie. Um, no, but when Steven Dorf. There we go. Thank you, Howling Hour. Steven Dorf was in the gate. He was a young kid. I have no idea who that is. Steven Dorf. Okay. Anyway, he was so, in that movie. Anyway, when I was a kid, I saw a movie. It's called The Kingdom of the Spiders. Oh, yeah. And it terrified me. And I don't think that I could still watch it today. It. I don't know that I could watch it and think, well, that's not that scary. Yeah. So Carla said Goonies was something that scared her and now is one of her favorites. What scared you about uh, things in the Goonies? Stephen Norrington now. I did not know that. Good call. That's interesting. Good old howling hour for the win. Absolutely. Oh, we shook the table. Sorry. Party foul. Whoops. Yeah, that, that was, was not that an was earthquake. Scary that was for me. <laughs> scary for me. All right, let's. We're gonna wrap it up here in about 10 15 minutes. Lady in the White, we would watch every Halloween. Wasn't a fan. Oh, yeah, that was a scary movie. That was a scary movie. Uh, Sloth scared you, kid old. He was scary. <laughs> no, I could see that as a kid, how that could be scary. Chunk, I hope that was your stomach. Sounds like Kong. One thing that uh, Carrie does not like doing with me a lot. Watching movies that we've seen over and over. I'm, I don't know why you say that. Because <laughs> I always repeat the lines. Oh, yeah. that That's my it is annoying. biggest pet the peeve. The dead bodies in Sloth when he yeah. yelled. Okay. All right. The bathroom scene in Ricky Ticky Tavi where the <laughs> cobra waited for the man to walk in at night. Interesting. Interesting. So it's really... So they have... Two books out there. One is Ricky Ticky Tembo and Ricky Ticky Tavi. So they're kind of very, they're, they're similar, I believe. Uh, I love watching old action films over and over. The Running Man, Total Recall. Ooh, I do like that. You do that. Get out here with the Goonies. The best is the Monster Squad. Oh, yeah. When he kicks Wolfman and the Nards. <laughs> that was a great movie. Great movie, Juan. Good pick. Basically any Schwarzenegger movie. Yeah. She says, don't watch the Sandlot with Kiko. Word for word. Word for word. Hey, Kiko. So here is an adventure for Carla and Kiko's adventures. Are you ready for this? He's not watching, but you'll watch the backstream or Carla can tell you about it. Guess where the Sandlot is? In our backyard down in Salt Lake. In fact, my aunt taught at the school, and right behind that school was the Sandlot, the original place. If you want to see the original Sandlot, come up here. I will take you to the original Sandlot, where it's at. It is still there. People still go there. It's really cool. And Ooh, to Disney Baker. I'm Hello. sure it would be. Welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for joining the Disney Baker. Yes, um, Carla and Kiko, it is here, right in our backyard. We'll take you to it. You can come up here. I'll show it to you. It is super rad. It is super cool. It is so. It is the so Breakfast cool. Club is one of those that I could go word for word. Yeah, you could do Breakfast Club. Um, 
Secondly, as we're talking about some cool places down in uh, Salt Lake, the actual house and street that uh, Halloween, well, the original Halloween is down in uh, Sandy, I believe is where it's at in Sandy, Utah. But yeah, come up here. We'll uh, check out the Sandlot. So a minute ago, they were talking about favorite Disney princesses. Should we go? Back okay, to so that? let's go back to that. Yep, let's go back to that. So the Howling Hour brought up an awesome topic on the movies things. Um, he said, "Let's let's go back to it." Oh yeah. Oh, we Carla, we will take, take you to, to the, the up house too. It's so that, cool. You know, and oh yes, yeah, sixteen candles. That's so good. That's one of my favorites. Um. Yeah, the up house is really amazing, and I would I would think that they're probably doing tours again at this yeah, point. Yeah, they do tours. They used to give you grape soda um, when you went in there too, and you can get a little pin and grape soda thing. It's really cool. They shut those tours down during COVID, so we weren't able to tour the house. Um, but yes, the up house is way cool. So there's like a few things you could come see, Carla. Make a road trip. Bring Josh and Becky, put and them Juanito. in the car. So, yes. Okay, so Howling Hour put it out there for princesses. Okay. What do we What do we think? Um, he said Aurora, right? And then um, I think Carla said Jasmine. She said Jasmine? I think so. Just trying to scroll up and find it. I got lost. Hey, Howling Hour, throw up the question again so we can go off of that. I know you said Aurora. I know Carla said Jasmine. Favorite Disney princesses. Favorite Disney, pr favorite Disney princesses or princess. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I've never seen that. Uh, Disney Baker, that is a good movie. I've Absolutely. always wanted to watch it, but I've never seen that one. Super great, super great. I'll have to. I would say if we're if we're if uh, we say favorite Disney princess, mm, that's hard. That's hard because I have so many favorite princesses. I have to say that um, from my childhood, it's Aurora. Uh huh. And then um, as a grown up, it's Rapunzel from Tangled. Matt, how are you? Thanks for joining. We're we're talking about your favorite Disney princess, uh, Copamello or the howling hour. Yeah. I got Aurora. Copamello says Bella or Bella bell. Who are you? I, uh, uh, Carla says Jasmine. Disney Baker says snow white or bell to Carla. No, you got to pick one Carla. I would have to say that my favorite is Ariel. I watched Little Mermaid over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I like Ariel. And your son lives next to the voice oh, yeah, of Ariel. Does. So that's way cool. Her son lives down in Georgia. And uh, a few blocks away is the uh, lady that played the voice of Ariel. She's actually, when he worked at Starbucks in Georgia, she actually went through a couple of times the drive through there. Super awesome. I wish I was there. As an adult, I'd go with Leia. Me too. Me too. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite Disney princess is either Snow White, Ariel, or Elena. Nice. I yeah, I, I really I really stuck to Ariel. Uh I yeah. liked I liked Belle. Um she was a good princess mm -hmm. too. Um, from Beauty and the Beast, we watched that a lot, but I'd have to say Ariel. Ariel's my girl. Yep, Princess Leia, very dear to my heart. That's because she's a Carrie as well. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, so here you go. Um, really fun. We've kind of talked about a few things um, as far as some cool movie features that are close to us and around us. Have any movies been filmed in your hometown? Do you know the movie that was filmed in our hometown? I just know that Jeff Goldblum was here and he did um, a thing for his 
series on Disney Plus. Yep. But I don't really know of any other actual movies filmed here. So if you guys go to Midlife Vibes on YouTube, they have a video out there when they came to Wyoming and visited. They show you the hotel that they stayed at and the front lobby. Jeff Goldblum came through Evanston and he was uh, doing some shots and scenes. He actually called our people. It was mostly for fireworks and he called our, it was really funny actually. He called our chief of police and he called our fire marshal and said, Hey, I heard this is like the firework capital of the West and you guys have really great firework shows. And I mean, and I'm telling and you guys, uh, there's people that come from all over the world to come see our firework show. Um, they, they're not as good as they used to be. And the reason being is because the city doesn't put a lot of money into it anymore. Porter's fireworks, um, puts it on. They've been here for ever yeah. and a day. And he would go up, he does all that stuff and he does a bunch of, uh, Firework stuff and the city just didn't give him any more money. So he kind of, he kind of slowed down. Um, Juan, Captain Marvel is not a Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> Copamello, real quick while we're talking, Copamello said the Heartbreak Ridge with Clint Eastwood was filmed in their, their hometown. So that's cool. That would be really cool. They filmed Back to the Future Part 3 in my hometown. Matthew, what's your hometown? Yeah. Uh, Disney Baker says is the cigar box guitar. Can you play? Yes. Okay. So uh, Disney uh, Baker, that is a cigar box guitar and our good friends, Copamello, they're our sponsor. Go check them out on Instagram and Etsy. Uh, they uh, have this and uh, Disney Baker, if you see, well, you've subscribed hopefully to the channel. If you have subscribed, when I get to a hundred subscribers, I'm going to give a star Wars one. You can go check that out. And um, Juan's asking about the link. You're, uh, he's not a, Oxnard. Oh, okay. all my mods are not there. And I got to reach real fast to find the. Where is Rosa tonight? Uh, she's, she's busy. probably doing her own by Matthew now. Matthew says in California. So um, they feel back. Yes, a mod could paste. That would be great. Yeah. Where's all my mods? Um, so. Uh, Anyway, Jeff Goldblum came here. He has season two. He asked for our uh, fire chief and our police chief to uh, give them a special permit to light fireworks because you can't light fireworks off in our town only during 4th of July and the 24th of July and New Year's. Now you can go outside of city limits, but he wanted to do it right here in city limits. Oh, Carla says she's and, on it. Thank you, Carla. Um, they... Uh, they were like, well, we're not going to provide a special permit for you to light fireworks off at this time. And we all had to say, are you crazy? This is yeah. Jeff Goldblum. This not that we're, I mean, we're, we're not on the map. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Carla. Uh, so anyway, for, uh, but they, yeah, they Get weren't, they weren't going to give it to him anyway. Jeff about. Goldblum watch for season two. When he does fireworks, we should be on the map there. That would be really cool. The Has other thing. Have you seen um, the series Yellowstone? Yellowstone. So the yep. series Yellowstone was actually filmed. Um, a lot of the very good Disney Baker episodes were filmed. What was it like? Maybe thirty miles, forty miles from here in Utah. Yeah. Yep. So Utah and Disney. The only reason I say that, if you have, I don't get to. A lot of people are private on. Um, YouTube, you can't see their subscription. I only, I mean, it says I have 86, 86 subscribers. I see like 40. Um, anyway, Earth Girls are easy. Oh, come on. Best, best Jeff Goldblum movie ever is Jurassic Park. Yes, agreed. Or The Fly. No, that's a <laughs> horrible movie. Uh, there was a movie called SLC Punk that was filmed. It's just a short one from Sundance Film Festival. Um it was filmed in here. I was actually in the background. You can't really see me very good, but I was there when they filmed it. It was really cool at Porter's Fireworks. Oh, so, I didn't know that that was here. Yeah, that was filmed here. And we and Sundance Film Festival is in Park City. It's just down the street from us as well. So we have cruised down there quite a few times and seen some really cool actors and actresses. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. 
That's in February, March. No, it's not in March. It's like the it's, end of January, 1st of February. Right, right. But I think they moved the one year they had to move it and they brought it down a little bit and it kind of went into March. That was like nine years ago. That was a while ago. Uh, the best Cronenberg movie is. I'm going to remove that one. Stay on topic. I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, yeah, cool. It's fun to it's fun to see uh, things. Disney Baker just says, "I will win this." I saw that. <laughs> uh, good I luck to everybody, and thank you again for subscribing, and thank Absolutely. you for watching and and doing all that. We we really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna do, do, I'm gonna just scroll through here. Last question, and then we're gonna shout out everything, and then end every and get everybody out of here. Uh, thanks for a bunch for joining. You know what would be cool? So again, my goals, our goals, my goals uh, for this channel was to get to 100 subscribers. The reason being is when you search for YouTube, um, my end, youtube.com slash is a bunch of letters and numbers. I'd like to put time out with Michael behind that. That's a goal for me. So that's where I'd like to be. And I want to keep good subscribers. I don't want to just have subscribers that are out in law and i want to have actual subscribers that want to pay attention and watch the show Absolutely. um so if it takes time it takes time that's that's where we'll get to um my next goal is to get to a thousand so i can be able to monetize and do that stuff so people could uh send some super chats in so we could drink i would out drink anyone promise anyone want to challenge me no yes not me. I own the record for the sake shot at Ichiban, and they take a bottle and they put it upside down and squirt it into your mouth for four minutes and 22 seconds. And I guarantee I could have went longer, but they ran out of sake. Just saying. There's no one that can out drink me. I promise. You give me a chance to uh, hang out with you for a night that I don't have to do anything the next day. Okay. I'll out drink you. Promise. Promise. Juan says the best Charlize Theron movie is Monster. But anyway, yeah. I don't know that I've seen that Monster? one. Monster? Yeah, she, uh, oh yeah. That's a that's a good one. I like uh, I Mad Max actually it. with Charlize. That was a good one. Um, <laughs> anyway, got off topic. But anyway, those are our goals. Those are our things. So again, thank you so much for anybody. Uh, <sighs> thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining our show. And if there's anything you guys ever want us to talk about or do, we'll do it. We will. Okay. Um, yeah. What is your favorite movie hero? We lost a bunch of people, but that's okay. We told them we're almost done. I know. It's okay. People are dropping. It's been, we've been on over an hour. Nobody can touch that Saki record. I plan on beating it. I, don't I really know if do. Anybody's as tired as I am right now. So my favorite movie hero of all times. Mm. Rambo? No. Luke Pro Skywalker? Prob probably, probably Littlefoot. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Tigger. <laughs> Tigger. <laughs> He's my hero too. My favorite, my favorite hero of all time. Uh, man, that's hard. Neo. That's a good one. Neo. That's a good one. I don't know if I, I, I I'm, I'm agreeing with Carla. I don't know if I have a movie hero. Like there was no like Jean Claude Van Damme. There you go, <laughs> Jean Jean Claude Van Damme was my hero. I always wanted to do the splits, and I wanted to be able to kick real high like him, and talk like him, and get all the ladies. And <laughs> yeah, not even gonna go there. we watched Littlefoot. That was the first movie I ever watched in a movie theater. One Land Before Time. My first movie in the movie theater was Star Wars. Star Wars. I had a badass dad. That's right. That's right. Well, again, thank you everybody for joining. Go subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure you hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any more timeouts with us. Right? That's right. Hit that subscribe. Hit it. We're going to get Thumbs into up. CCTV. <laughs> Carrie Cam TV. I like that. I like it. Thanks for that, Kid Ult. We appreciate that. That's a great idea. And again, thank you very much for everybody joining. Have a good night. We'll talk yes, to you guys TTFN. later. TTFN. That's right. And with that, this timeout is over.